Hey everybody, hope you guys are having a great day. It has been a long time since I brought you a tutorial video, and so here's a brand new one for you. Now, before we get started, I'm going to talk a little about, about a little bit about a couple things. First off, I'm sorry if my voice sounds weird. I've been getting over a cold all week this week, and so unfortunately, this is the best I can do, so I'm sorry. Um, another thing is that the uh, new batch of Slaptastic stickers is in. This batch right here, this is by the amazing Brad Woodard. Excuse me, I'm sweating a little bit because I just got done doing a workout. Uh, this is actually a new form of packaging that we are doing now with Slaptastic. That way we can give a big shout out to the artist behind these stickers here is uh, Brad's uh, beautiful face and his name, a link to his stuff. That way everybody knows exactly who it's from. And then on the back here we have, uh, we gave him a free sponsorship for his awesome little uh, project called Artists for Education. If you guys haven't heard of it, definitely check it out. There'll be information in the show notes below. You can also find a link to sign up for these today. Anyone who signs up through this uh, YouTube video uh, and they use a special promo code that will be listed below, you will get uh, $3 off your first month of uh, stickers, so it'll only be $5. So definitely go check it out. Now, finally, the last thing before we get started in this video, before I tell you about what this tutorial is all about, uh, I'm actually going to be on Adobe's live stream next month. I will be on there from August uh, 7th, 8th, and 9th, excuse me, I'm still sweating, uh, from 3 to 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. If you guys would like to check it out, I'm going to include a link to Adobe Live in the show notes as well, and I'll probably be posting about it on social media and everything like that, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. Now, this video is going to be strictly about building illustrations with just shapes. I'm not going to use the pen tool at all. I'm just going to use shapes and the pathfinder. Now, this is going to be a three-part series. In this first series, I'm going to be building a laptop strictly from shapes. So I hope you guys enjoy, and here we go. All right, everybody. So like I said uh, before, this tutorial is completely about building illustrations out of simple shapes. So first off, the one thing I'm definitely not going to be using is I'm not going to be using the pen tool that you can see in the toolbar here. All I'm going to be using is the ellipses, or excuse me, one second, the ellipses to make circles and the rectangle to use to create rectangles here. Now, uh, to give just to give you a quick overview, to uh, get an ellipses, you can just hit the keyboard shortcut L for ellipses or for rectangles, you can hit M, M as in mom. So that's all you need for that. Um, I'm going to be using a lot of shortcuts in this, uh, so I'm going to try and explain them as I go along, but I'm going to try to keep this video pretty short. Now, I know you guys always see my colorful color palette to the right. We're actually not going to worry about that today. I'm going to just be using uh, simply uh, grayscale. In fact, what I'm going to do is I have this color palette chosen right here. I'm just going to move it over here and then I'm going to go and edit the colors to grayscale. That way I have those for building. Okay, so let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to build the base of the laptop. So I'm going to hit M. I'm going to grab the lightest color. In fact, I kind of want a, a lighter color than that. So I'm just going to use the swatches here. Whoops. So I'm going to get a light color. I'm going to hit M and I'm going to just drag out a rectangle just like this. Now, the laptop I'm gonna build here, I'm gonna give it depth. I'm not gonna just have it be a front-facing laptop because that's not gonna be a, a good enough for you guys. I want it to be more than that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy it, Command-C, paste it behind, and then I'm just gonna uh, hard, hard left it over. Hard lefting is basically shift and arrow left. I'm going to get a darker color there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these bottom anchor points here. We're going to go up here to the corners and we're going to just increase the corners. And I think that's about, that's good enough. Actually, you know what? Let's undo that. I'm going to make these thinner. I want to be a more modern laptop. So we're going to select those again. And there we go. And we're going to try and select the very top just to give a little bit of a roundness here. 
I'm going to zoom in just so you guys can see. See how it's a little bit rounded there, but it's fully round right there. So I'm going to zoom out again. Now I'm going to just focus on uh, the main parts of the laptop for now. So the next part, let me grab a darker color. I'm going to get a rectangle again. And I'm going to do the actual like screen part of it. So I'm going to send that to the back. I'm going to round the corners. I think that's a close. I'm going to bring it down so it's a little bit more flush. Uh, let's bring it up just a little bit. Right about there I think is right. Now I'm going to add a stroke to it. And I'm going to make sure, see here in the stroke panel, you have three different options. We don't have any special things like pro, width profiles. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> if you don't have anything like width profiles on it, you can use these three align stroke. Uh, I'm going to use the align stroke inside. That way the stroke doesn't bulge out and mess up the alignment here. And I think I'm going to put this up to five pixels. Yeah, that's about right. So now we have the basic background of the screen. And so now that we have that, I'm going to go in. Sorry, I hope I'm not going too fast for you guys. I'm going to go in and just uh, get a rectangle. I'm going to align to the center here, right there. I'm going to hit Option. And I'm going to drag it out. And I'm going to do it right about there. There we go. So now we have the screen. And the one thing is, is if you notice right now, the only thing that gives this illustration depth is this uh, foundation here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually give the laptop, um, the screen, some dimension with shading. Now, normally nowadays, especially with Max, which is what this illustration is based off of, you don't really see shading anymore. Um, and you don't see like uh, a screen that's like indented in. It's usually just like a flush screen. That's okay. It's it's all right. Not to not to be too uh, follow through too much with a traditional laptop. <clears throat> Sorry, still getting over that cold. So, but by doing that, by adding these shadings here, by adding it to the top here and then to the left, it really just makes it pop a little bit more. And one quick thing on the shading. The reason why I put the shading on the right here is because we have this shading down here on the left. So it's having the laptop rotated. And so you wouldn't see shading here, you would see it on this side. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select this just so I can get that stroke. I'm going to remove the fill. I'm going to get an ellipses. And then I'm going to try to align this to the center. There we go. And then option drag. Whoops, didn't do it quite right. Let's do it one more time. There we go, option drag. And I'm gonna bring it down to three pixels. And so now we have like a little webcam here. I don't like to go too in depth with webcam. I think a simple ellipses is perfect for it. So now we have the basic uh, foundation, the basic shape of our laptop and everything. And we started to add a little bit of detail with like the webcam. Now we need to add a little bit more detail so that everything fits a whole lot better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add that classic uh, MacBook, um, I don't even know what you would call it, indention that allows you to open up the computer easily. So I'm going to get a rectangle. I'm going to have it filled. I think I need to go one more darker. I'm going to find the center of this one right there. Option drag. I'm going to get it to about roughly half of the... Uh, the height of the foundation. I'm going to select both. I'm going to then go up to the alignment area up here. I'm going to hit align to selection. And then I'm going to choose this one right here, vertical align top. That way it aligns top. Now I can see it's, yeah, it's roughly about what we want. So I'm going to select these bottom two corners and I'm going to add, I'm going to change the radius to the maximum it can be. So I like that. I think it needs to extend out a little bit. So I'm just going to drag it right about there. I think that, yeah, that feels good. Now I'm going to select it and I'm going to bring it down to like a 50 opacity. That way it feels a lot better to me. Okay. So that's, it's already looking good. This laptop, honestly, if you wanted to stop right now, it'd be perfect. It'd be perfect just for a simple uh, background piece for some sort of illustration for a startup. But I want a little bit more detail in this. I'm a, more of a perfectionist. So I'm going to dark, get a darker shade. 
I'm going to go over here and I'm going to give it some ports. So first things first, I got a rectangle tool and I'm just going to drag right about, I think there should be good. I'm going to completely round this. I know that not all laptops have this. this is basically supposed to be USB ports. I don't care if they're not, if they're usually square. This illustration is going to be a little bit more fun. I'm going to give it a little SD card slot. Now I know that uh, it would have on this computer it would probably have different things than this, but I don't care. I'm the creator. I get some creative liberties. And I'm going to drop the opacity down a little bit. That way we don't draw too much attention. And then finally, the last part I'm going to do before I start coloring this is I'm going to add keys. So this is a fun thing I like to do. Uh, it's something I learned a while back. I don't know if some of you probably know this. If it's fine, it's okay. It's just a refresher. But I basically went ahead. I uh, rounded the top two corners. Now I'm going to select this. And I'm going to uh, option and then drag and hit shift so it stays along that, that parallel. I'm just going to move it just a little bit over. And then I'm going to hit command D which basically copies not only the object, but also it copies the movement. And so I'm just going to keep on hitting this until I feel like it's right. In fact, I feel like this probably needed to be stretched out a little bit more, but I'm going to probably keep it about this much. So I'm going to select these and then I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to drag it out to about here. I'm going to group these just in case I need to do something to them later. But there we go. Now we have a perfectly um, great laptop. And so before we go, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly uh, do the coloring for this. So I want to use basically these colors here. Sometimes I will, uh, depending on if it's something I've done before, if I know the coloring that I want. Whoops. Uh, I will actually build it in the color. Sometimes though, I choose to do it in grayscale. Now I'm going to explain further in the future why I do this. But for this video, I'm just going to go straight into coloring just because I don't want to uh, take up too much more of your guys' time. Select these. The thing is, is notice we're only using four colors here, but I'm using opacities to get around that. just so that I can do the stroke. I'm going to create a swatch group here. Select this. I'm going to give it that dark color. I'm going to give this the light color. I'm going to give this the light pink. Whoops. I'm going to take this and I'm actually, do I have it? Yeah, I have it selected. I'm actually going to give it the blue color and I'm going to bump back up the multiply. So it's just barely there. It doesn't have to be too much. In fact, you know what? I'm going to darken this a little bit. So technically we're going to use five colors here. Let's go up. There we go. There we go. That feels better. And then finally we have the keys. And so the keys, I'm going to give it this pink, but then I'm going to copy it and paste it in the front. And I'm going to give it this, this color here. And there we go. We have here a perfectly great laptop that was completely built out of shapes. Now, and primarily the, the cool thing about this is it was basically all rectangles. We used only an ellipses here, but if we wanted to, we could also use just a rectangle for this. We create the rectangle here. Let's copy the that, all right? And then we just go to corner radius and boom, all the way over and now it's a circle. So in a way, we could have actually used nothing but rectangles to build this illustration. Now, to follow up real quick, the uh, next couple weeks, I'm going to be bringing out another two videos, two parts of this series here. And next week, we're going to be creating faces. And we may just create a body. I just don't know. That might be another video unto itself. But next week, is going to be faces, and we're just going to be using the rectangle and ellipses too. Okay, everybody, I hope you guys had a great time watching this video. I hope it was very informative. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know in the show notes below, or excuse me, in the comments below. But that's it for me this week. Sorry this video came out a little bit late today. 
I had to completely re-record the whole thing, but I hope you guys enjoy. See ya.